This is Matthew Arbit. I just wanted to show something really cool. So I had previously shown off playing Shroud of the Avatar streamed to a Nexus 7. Now my new accomplishment, Shroud of the Avatar streaming to my Nexus player. And so I just got this fancy Mad Cats Control R. Um, it is freaking awesome. It's got regular mode and mouse mode and computer mode and for Shroud of the Avatar I am using regular mode and mouse mode so basically I'm using X Patter to uh, map out some of the controls so I can do the camera I really really hope that eventually Shroud has native controller support because that would be amazing so here is a wolf and you might be thinking, well, how am I going to attack this guy? Well, I targeted him with this button right here, the left button, and press A to attack. And if I want to use my spells, the D-pad can do eight directions. And so right now, I only have seven spells. And so I can cast all my spells very easily and so now you might be wondering okay cool well how are you gonna field dress that wolf so that's pretty simple too. switch it over to mouse mode and there's my little mouse it's a little difficult to move but it works and then click the wolf with A and he field dresses and I'm not good enough <laughs> to field dress the wolf and so I have to try a few more times to do it. I have not leveled up that skill. But uh, I can just keep trying. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing very well. So switch it back to normal mode. And so uh, I can move the camera with this. So say I want to zoom. If I put to mouse mode, then I can zoom in or zoom out. And I'm still in uh, combat mode, so just press X and then go out of combat mode. If I want to bring up my inventory, I press the start button. And I can go to mouse mode, and I haven't really done much with the inventory yet, as far as what the mouse mode goes. I haven't mapped the, everything out, but uh, the, in principle, I should technically be able to do almost everything in game. I mean, there's still a few things that I'm just going to end up doing on my computer simply because it's easier. But as far as the basics, that I can pretty much do it. I apologize for that interruption. Anyways, let's uh let's run away from these guys. I'm kind of tired of fighting the wolves. I will I would like to point out that if uh the game looks slightly blurry at all that that is not actually the streaming it is because my monitor on my computer is not 1080p and so I actually have to use a 720p uh so that it will fill the entire screen and so it kind of degrades it a bit. If you were to stream it from a computer that's 1080p, um, then it will stream in 1080p and probably will look uh, just as good as if you were playing it on that computer, from my experience. So uh, here's the, the overworld map, of course. There's Salt Bridge. I don't particularly care about going over there right now. I will say that uh, I'm a lot better at playing this with a controller when I'm not holding my phone recording everything. So I mean, this is pretty cool how it, uh, it pretty much just looks like you're in a normal scene 
when you're zoomed in like this. That is pretty awesome. So, uh, I think this is my town over here where I live, yes. And so I'm going to have to switch to mouse mode over here. Unfortunately, the mouse is a little bit faster than I would like it to be. But as I said, it still works pretty good. And so now, just waiting for it to load. And, uh, we're going to go back to my house. I don't even know. I, I could have actually just used the shortcut to go back to my house, I guess. I guess I can still do that. So, uh, basically the program I use, Xpatter, it maps out all the controls to an Xbox 360 controller, which Kino Console basically comes up to whatever computer you use as an Xbox 360 controller. And so you could just use the controller on your computer, which only Xpatter and not stream the game if you wanted to. But what fun would that be when you can stream it to a 32 inch or a 50, 60 inch TV or maybe even a projector or something like that. So here's my lot. I think I didn't map that out yet. I thought that I did, but oh, maybe I did. Let's try again. No, I still need to uh, uh, map escape to uh, one of my buttons so I can close windows because using this mouse is not convenient. Anyways, let's take a look around. So here's my house. It's just a, it's a little row house because I wanted a little bit extra room on my lot. So, uh, double click the fence to open it. And we're in. And same for the door. Come on. Okay. You can see the decorations on my walls. Here's my piano. And my snowball box. And my puzzle box. And the uh, Hearth of Britannia cabinet. If you haven't seen one of these things, they're pretty cool. They have like stuff inside of them. They are, so you can kind of see that there's stuff inside of it, yeah. Okay. And of course, av the radio for Avatar's radio on top of there, and I mean, you guys pretty much get the point by now. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any information of how to set this up,